Hey guys, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, we have someone from Newfoundland here. Nice to see you. Hey Nada, good to see you here. Uh, let me know if the audio or video is good. I will check on my phone. How's it going? Yeah. Good to see you. Looks good. Yes, Bob just finished his live stream. All right. So in today's lesson, yeah, it's good to see you. Nice view. <laughs> yeah, it's not my house. I wish it was. So guys, uh, before we start, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, looks like we got a few of my regulars in here. Yusef, nice to see you, buddy. Uh, Yusef's very active on uh, on my Instagram. Yeah, it's not my house, hey, Nada. Or... Renata. So today we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs for around the house. Good night, Daddy. Okay, good night. That's my daughter, by the way, everyone. Milan, are you actually going to bed? It's Saturday night. <laughs> I am Canadian. Yes, I am from the east coast of Canada in a province um, called New Brunswick. So, hi Syed. So let's get started. Phrasal verbs for around the house. So the first one that we're gonna go over is put on. So an example would be put on the kettle so we can make some tea. <laughs> Hey, Nada, making jokes about, about us silly Canadians. All right, staying on topic. Yes, good to see you too, Yusuf. Uh, another example for put on is I'll put on a pot of coffee in the morning. I know I'm pretty tired in the morning. First thing I do when I wake up after I wash up is I go get a coffee. I'm not an early bird. No, oh, Robert. Oh, okay. Thought I saw something for Robert there. Uh, so, uh, the next one that we're going to go on to is... Hi from Vietnam. My daughter from Vietnam. You're in Canada, Milan. And why did you spell your name wrong? Did I set up your account? Next one is put away. Oh, look at that. There's Bob. Bob the Canadian's here. Nice to see you, Bob. Thanks for the shout-out. Uh, thanks for sending people my way for my live streams. My second live stream. So hopefully everything goes well. So second one is put away. Before bed, we always put away our toys. So if my daughter's watching, make sure you always put away your toys before you go to bed. Uh, this is slower than what I normally speak. Um, as the live stream goes on, I may forget to slow down my speech and I might speak faster. Um, I don't have a problem with speaking slowly um, my, and, or speaking fast. Uh, my problem is that sometimes I mumble. So I will try my best not to mumble. That is where most people get tripped up when they're listening to me. All right, I gotta pay attention to the screen instead of the chat. <laughs> it's a lot, of, it's overwhelming with, uh, how many people are here? Give me a second here, 46. Yeah, so it's a little overwhelming for me. I think I had uh, 19 last uh, on my first live stream, so. <laughs> Um, be sure to put away the dishes when you're done washing them. Another uh, phrasal verb that we use around the house is put up. So a lot of us uh, recently put up a lot of decorations and soon we will have to take them down. 
We put up our Christmas decorations in late November. I'm going to put up our family photo on the wall. Yes, hey Nada, your your two favorite Canadians were live. Are you still only subscribed to me and Bob, or do you have other subscriptions on your account now? Oh, there's my other daughter upstairs. My whole family's here. Oh, and there's my wife. Jeez, we got the whole friggin' family here. Where's my uh, Where's my other daughter? I have three daughters. Let me just talk to my daughters there. So. And my wife is there too. Hi. From, hey, don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, put up lights on the Christmas tree. Is it correct? Yes. So put up decorations or put up lights. Uh, you could say either one of them. Yes, uh, another way, another meaning is to put up with someone. Um, so you tolerate them. So you put up with them. Yes, uh, Sayed. Yeah, Yusuf just asked that. So you put up with somebody. But we're talking about phrasal verbs from around the house. There's my other daughter. Okay, so after you put up, you also have to take down. What's up, this guy? Okay, you must have watched one of my other videos. Hi, oh, there's my other daughter, Mina. Guys, if you've uh, ever watched any of my other videos, you'll you must have seen all my daughters by now. If you're been following my channel for a while, let me just say hi to her. It's nine o'clock at night and they're still awake because they want to watch daddy's live stream. So when we put up our decorations, we also have to take them down. So our parents made us take down the Christmas decorations. <laughs> uh, something the kids don't like, but, uh, and the parents don't like it either because it's time consuming. Last, uh, last live stream, I didn't have any water and all the talking stop it <laughs> uh, I had to uh, my mouth was pretty dry so I got a big thing of water this is my daughter so she might get angry if I'm using it so another example is I'm going to take down that picture so another phrasal verb is take out take out Every Tuesday, we have to take out the trash. So in where I live, Tuesday is the, the trash day. So every two weeks, it's the garbage. And the other two weeks, it is the recyclables and the compost. Oh, hey, not a saying hi to all my daughters. Don't forget to take out the dog. So if your dog... If you live in a country where your dog stays inside the house, uh, which I know a lot of these countries uh, are probably watching, the dog always stays outside, but in Canada it's too cold, so you have to remember to, to take out the dog so it can do its business. And by business I mean, you know. Now, one of my daughters saying hi to you, hey Nada. Okay, another one is clean up or tidy up. These basically mean the same thing. After the dinner party, it was time to clean up. Let's tidy up before our guests arrive. Oh, sorry guys, one more thing. Um, if you were here for the last live stream last week, um, we did a little quiz at the end. So there is a website called Kahoot. And so if you're on a computer, you can just open up a new tab uh, in your Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever you're using. 
and go to kahoot.it and I'll give you a pin that you can enter in uh, so you enter in this number into the pin and then you pick your name and then you're into the quiz and you guys compete for each other so uh, if you get the right answers you get points if you answer them faster than everybody else you get some points so uh, I don't remember who who were the winners last week uh, I'll have to check I have it on my computer but I'm keeping track of everybody who uh, participates and uh, keeping score I'm gonna probably keep maybe a monthly score so we'll see sometimes I clean up the dishes okay so clean off sorry guys get I get uh, distracted by this chat clean off the table after dinner so once you finish dinner you have to clean all the dishes and glasses and utensils off the table so clean off the dinner Clean off the table after dinner. I love you too, Mina. I wonder who's typing for you. Go clean off the snow from the car. Uh, in winter, we have to, before we drive our cars, we have to clean off the snow. So go clean off the snow from the car. Next one is clean out. Be sure to clean out your closet. And this woman is just tossing stuff because she's got way too much. So be sure to clean out your closet. We bought a new dresser. Go clean out your old one. Yes, sorry, Gabriel or Gabrielle. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Uh, the next one is... I just I put these ones together just because they're pretty much they pretty much just mean the same thing. So turn on, switch on, turn off, switch off. Hey Edgar, you're a little late, buddy. Nice to see you here. It's impossible to see in here. Please switch on the lights. Please turn off the heat. It's way too hot in here. Her big sister help her type what she wants to say to you. Yes, my my oldest daughter is helping my youngest daughter say what she wants to me because I get a lot of voice messages when I'm at work. She's always telling me how much she loves me. Uh, the next one is hang up. I'm going to hang up this picture. After you come in from outside, always remember to hang up your jacket. Now, instead of hang up, there is also hang out. It's a beautiful day. I think I'll hang out the clothes to dry. So I'm sure in uh, every country, they probably have clothes lines. Uh, in Canada, we typically only use them uh, in the summertime and spring if it's really nice. Um, so you, you would say that you hang out the clothes. There's another meaning for hang out. We're going to hang out in the backyard. So when you say that you're going to hang out as a person or as a group, it means you're gonna spend some time together in the backyard. Hang out together in the backyard. Throw away, throw out. We'll have to throw away that broken Christmas ornament. We've had a, a number of broken Christmas ornaments over the years. I myself have broken many. Uh, my brother has broken many, my parents and my kids, so. Hey, Nada says that she's never used hangout for clothes. Uh, what do you say when you put your clothes out? Put the clothes out to dry? Maybe? Sorry, guys. Okay. 
Okay, next one. Oh, I guess I skipped one there. Oh, don't throw out your old toys. Donate them. Next one is sweep up. I'll have to sweep up that broken glass. During spring cleaning, it's always best to sweep up the floor last. <laughs> Edgar says he's going to hang out with his clothes. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could hang out with your clothes. Put the clothes on the clothesline. Okay, well, yeah. You could say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Edgar, that's pretty funny. Uh, hey, Nada, yep. So hang... What did I say? Hang... Yeah, hang out, yeah. Hang out the uh, clothes. Next one is sweep off. My last chore is to sweep off the stairs. Yes, I love you too, Milan. Thank you. Just my, my girls in the chat giving me some words of encouragement. Uh, it was pretty difficult to find a picture of someone sweeping off the stairs. So maybe people don't do it very often, but you definitely have to do it here in Canada, especially when it snows. you got to sweep off the stairs. I had to sweep off the dust from my book. Next one is wipe down. Wipe down down. I'm going to wipe down the counter. Please wipe down the windows. Wipe off. I'll wipe off the counter just so I can look busy. I came up with that sentence because that's what this looks like. This guy looks like he's trying to look busy. So I thought it was funny. Uh, drying rack. Yes, I used to have a drying rack also. Um, I prefer to hang my clothes outside to dry, uh, but I don't like hanging out towels to dry because I find that they're very coarse when you try to use them after that. So I'm not sure why. Wipe off the dust on the coffee table. Wipe up, soak up. I need to wipe up that spill. I hope that cloth will be enough to soak up all that liquid. Wash up. She told the children to wash up for dinner. I need to wash up before I eat. Wash out. Rinse out. Wash out that glass before you use it. I'm going to rinse out the coffee maker. Ugh. No one likes this one. Scrub out, scrub off. No one likes to scrub out the toilet. That's the worst job in the house. Your hands are filthy. Scrub off that dirt. Pick up. Pick up the phone when it rings. Let's pick up your toys before we go out. All right. So we're about, uh, well, more than halfway through everything. I uh, just want to remind everybody to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Must be this way. <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, uh, yes, remind me to hit the thumbs up. So, yes, hit the thumbs up. Uh, like, share, comment. Uh, it is. Uh, hey, Nada, what are you talking about? It is? Oh, my girl's just going crazy in the chat. <laughs> yes, I love you too, Mina. Uh, so, yes, before we go any further, hit the likes, subscribe, comment. Uh, and reminder... Uh, if you want to compete against each other in a quiz, uh, there is a website that we are using, Kahoot, Kahoot.it. Um, 
Oh, yes, it is. I think she's talking about the toilet. So www.kahoot.it. Uh, if you're on your phone, you probably won't be able to play because unless you have a second phone, um, because you'll have to be able to see the questions on my screen and then answer on your screen. So uh, it's a little bit difficult uh, when you're on your phone. So if you're on your laptop, then uh, by all means, compete with each other, see who is the best and you get points for getting the correct answers and you get points for answering faster than everybody. Sweep up with the broom and mop up with the mop. Is it? Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. It is the worst task in the house, scrubbing out the toilet. Yes, it is. So let's move on. So mop up. There's no use in crying over spilled milk. I'll mop up that spill. In the springtime, I have to mop up a lot after the kids come inside. <laughs> Bob, yeah. Uh, you can play. Uh, you can get all the wrong answers if you want. <laughs> uh stock up we need to stock up on supplies before the storm hits what kind of juice do you drink uh, I like orange juice I don't know if you're talking to me it's a random question Yusuf um, my kids like apple juice uh, we had uh, a mango pineapple smoothie today my kids did, and I, I had a little bit of it. Yeah, it's good that Bob is here supporting me. It's really appreciated, Bob. Clear off. I have to go outside and clear off the snow from my car. This is a pain in the butt, especially when there's frozen ice on your car. Clear off your nightstand. Straighten out, straighten up. Hey, Danny, nice to see you, buddy. How's the weather over in Korea? Straighten out your room. It's a mess. You'll get more work done if you straighten up your desk. So straighten out and straighten up. Dust off. You better dust off your books and get back to studying. One of your chores is to dust off the end table. Excuse me, guys. So we got uh, English Danny from... Sorry, we got Danny from... I English Danny Learn English Channel. So, uh, if you guys haven't seen his channel, you should definitely check it out. He's got some good stuff on there. He posts uh, a lot more regularly than me. Yes, Milan, I like orange juice. <laughs> dry off. When you're done washing, please dry off the dishes. You will need a towel to dry off with after you shower. <laughs> yeah, slurp. Just like in my uh, Bob the Canadian challenge video. <laughs> yes, it is a big bottle, but uh, maybe it doesn't look so big when I move it away from the camera. Ring out. Make sure to wring out the towel before you hang it up. Wring out the mop after you're done using it. Load up. After dinner, we always load up the dishwasher. I don't use the dishwasher. We just wash by hand here. What's in the bottle? Um, I'm supposed to say it's water. Otherwise, YouTube will get angry. 
<laughs> it's water. <laughs> water, we hope. <laughs> We're getting our luggage ready so we can load up the car. Vacuum up. I always spell vacuum wrong. I don't know why. I always put two C's instead of two U's. <laughs> it's always time consuming to vacuum up the floor. Yeah, I don't use the dishwasher either. I, I don't know why, but I just prefer to wash by hand. I mean, it helps when I got my wife and my oldest daughter helping me, so it gets done a lot quicker. Yeah, water's pretty good, but uh, I don't drink enough of it. I'm only drinking it because my mouth got so dry last uh, live stream from talking too much. I went more than an no, I went about an hour, and that's only because we had a problem with the game. Water is wet, Edgar. You are correct. What a smart man you are. You should probably vacuum up that mess you made. All right, that is the last one, guys. I can't believe I went through them all that fast. That was uh, about 91 slides worth. Yeah, vacuum. Yeah, vacuum's a hard one. I don't know. I, 40, almost 40 years on this planet, and I still get it wrong sometimes when I'm typing it. So, yeah, there's other words like schedule that took me a long time. I always mess, I used to mess that one up all the time. Now I got it. I don't know why. You, you mess up on words and you don't take the time to actually learn them because you, you know you're just going to figure it out later. So Yeah, no problem. If you have to go, we're just about to jump into the game um, and then we're done the live stream. So uh, like I said, guys, if you want to play, open up a new tab in your Internet Explorer if you're on a laptop or um, Google Chrome. Go to www.kahoot.it and enter a pin that I'm about to give you. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Oh, there I am. Kahoot. Okay, guys, there's the number. I'll put the chat up here just so I can... So guys, if you go to www.kahoot.it, you can enter in this... Uh, this pin 118874 and this is a 10 question quiz i is there time today for the game it, if you mean time then yes i did make the time to 60 seconds so i i, I didn't mess up there so we got our first contestant Ed, we got the, uh, I'm not sure how to say your name. I'll get my wife to teach me uh, how. Pirate Boy is back again. Oh, yeah, Pirate Boy, you, uh, yeah, I think you finished first place last week, or last one. I'm on a smartphone, can't play. Edgar, come on, buddy. Hey, Nada, oh, you got on a laptop, finally. That's good. Hey, Nada is going to gonna shoot for number one, I think. She's pretty smart. Okay, we got four contestants. Bob, you can jump in there if you'd like. Uh, you can get all the wrong answers if you want. <laughs> I made this quiz very fast today, so. Um, yeah, so my head is kind of blocking part of the uh, chat. Come on, guys. We gotta have more than four in here, so go to www.kahoot. Yes, my wife says, hi, Bob, thanks for your support, and we're all, we're so grateful for your help. So I think my kids have a laptop upstairs they could be playing on if they wanted to. We had seven players last, last live stream, and we only had like less than 19 people in the chat. So we gotta have more than four players. So go to www.kahoot.it, enter in the pin 
pick a name and you're in. Yeah, good luck, guys. You're going up against Hinata or Renata. However, she likes to have it said. BTS lover. Oh, that, that's my kid right there. Okay. BTS, the boy band from Korea. You're, I'm a knob. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Although BTS lover is a smart cracker. Smart cookie. Sorry, not cracker. <laughs> smart cookie. One more. Who? You going to play on one of the tablets? Okay, guys, we'll give it uh, two more minutes. If you want to get in, you best get in. It only shows the top three, so... Flipper. Who is Flipper? We never did find out who Pirate Boy was. I wonder if it's Danny. So, uh, did anybody... Did everybody here enjoy... Jojo Love. <laughs> Did everybody enjoy uh, Bob's live stream? I love watching Bob's. Let's jump right in. Another minute there, Edgar. Yeah, Danny, it must be you. <laughs> uh, be fair to everybody else, Danny. Uh, yeah, so I enjoy Bob's live streams. Um, I've been following him since June. Yeah, since June, and I, I've been uh, in most of his live streams up until recently. I've just been busy with, uh, with work and family and stuff. But uh, I try to make a, a, an effort to watch his live streams and learn from him. Uh, he's a he's a big influence on me. I don't know if he's still here or not, but um, we do appreciate all his help. Yeah, Bob's always yeah he's really good. I've I've watched a few of his old ones and. Uh, when he was first starting out, and it was uh, probably a lot like what mine are, awkward a little bit. Uh, but he's a pro now. You can just tell. You can see the difference. Okay, so we're going to get started, guys. I'll do a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get started. Okay, question number one. I'll blank blank the spill. I'll blank blank the spill. I'll ring down the spill. I'll mop around the spill. I'll mop up the spill. I'll ring out the spill. So last time we had about a 20 second delay, so answers should be rolling in right about now. I want to answer two answers. We had six people in here, right? So, four or five, one more answer. Twenty seconds remaining for the last person to answer. There we go. Five people said mop up, one person said mop around. <laughs> Uh, Mary up. I'm just watching the chat. 235, Yusuf. Sorry, buddy. I know it's late. Let's move on to the next question. BTS lover got the quickest answer. Flipper, second quickest answer. And the person from Vietnam, Hao, or Ho, Ho, I don't know how to say your name, uh, is in third with the right answer. So remember, guys, you get. More points if you answer quicker. So my oldest daughter spent the first 15 years of her life in Vietnam. And she's been in Canada for the last... Coming up on... Yeah, 
she's 18, so yeah, three years. Please blank blank the light. Please blank blank the light. Please open up the light. Please turn on the light. Please switch on the light. Please pull down the light. So, one answer is in. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. There's two correct answers. So, I'm curious. Uh, let me know in the chat who picked switch on. I'm curious to know who picked that one because that is correct also. BTS lover is in the lead by, by a small amount. Flipper has moved down to third place. Or, yeah, third place. It's a beautiful day. I think I'll blank blank the clothes. It's a beautiful day. I think I'll blank blank the clothes. I think I'll put up the clothes. I'll hang out the clothes. I'll hang down the clothes. Wow, the delay was a little bit quicker that time. I'll place on the clothes. One more answer. People, two people put put up. So yes, it's hang out. I think I'll hang out the clothes. Hang out the clothes to dry. Oh, BTS lover, you got that wrong. Oh. I guess it's technically right, but that's not what we went over in the uh, in the lesson. Pirate boy is on fire. Blank, blank your book and get back to studying. Blank, blank your book and get back to studying. Dust off your book. Dust on your book. Blow off your book. Blow out your book. Edgard says, hang out. Yes, Edgard, you are right. Thanks for chiming in. <laughs> You're a little late on the answer there. Okay, you got two answers. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the two answers that are answering the fastest might be the people upstairs if, if there's two people upstairs playing. Edgar says dust off. Yusuf says dust off. Let's see if they're correct. Dust off, yes. Everybody except for one person blow off. Okay. Hey Nada is jumping up there. Good to see you up there, Hey Nada. We'll have to blank blank before the guests arrive. We'll have to blank blank before our guests arrive. We'll have to start drinking before our guests arrive. We'll have to have a sleep before our guests arrive. We'll have to tidy up before our guests arrive. We'll have to clean up before our guests arrive. <laughs> Mop around. <laughs> clean up. Yes, Edgar, clean up. Seven answers. Oh, someone jumped in. I didn't realize you could do that midway through the game. Uh, so yes, there is two correct answers. Someone said start drinking. <laughs> yes, we do have to start drinking before the guests arrive. Uh, yes, it would be nice to have a sleep before the guests arrive. But the correct answers are tidy up and clean up. I wish I could see who the other person that is that jumped in because we had seven answers there. It's only six people that started with us, so... Pirate Boy is on a streak with five correct answers in a row. <laughs> okay, question number six. After dinner, we always blank, blank the dishwasher. 
After dinner, we always blank, blank the dishwasher. We always unload up the dishwasher, pull out the dishwasher, load up the dishwasher, push down the dishwasher. So just sort of everybody's reference here, my phone has the same delay as everybody else because it seems to be about 20 seconds before you guys start answering. Edgar says load up. Okay, I think we have seven people in here now, so pull out. Everybody got that right, load up. So no, pull out is not the correct one. Okay, I really have to learn how to pronounce your name. How? How? My wife's gonna have to teach me because I know you're from Vietnam and my wife's from Vietnam and I'm probably butchering the name. Flipper in second place, Hinata in third place. Pirate Boy has the highest answer streak of six, but he's in fourth place. <laughs> He must be answering too slow. That's got to be Danny. He's just trying to stay below the third spot, I think. Load up. Okay. Before bedtime, we always blank, blank our toys. Before bedtime, we always blank, blank our toys. We always put away our toys. We always put down our toys. We always place away our toys. We always take out our toys. Answers are starting to roll in. Okay, we got seven answers. Oh, somebody else jump in. We got eight people in here now. Place away, Edgar says. That would be incorrect, Edgar. Put down. That is incorrect also. Must have eight people in here now. Correct answer is put away. So everybody got that right, except for the two people in the chat who are not participating. <laughs> okay, Flipper has the highest streak of seven now play around <laughs> okay question number eight my last chore is to blank blank the stairs my last chore is to blank blank the stairs to sweep up the stairs sweep off the stairs mop down the stairs mop up the stairs what is the correct answer Answers should be starting to come in. Okay, you got three answers. Five answers. Six answers. So three people got it right. Sweep off. Four people said sweep up. Sweep off because you're pushing off the dust or the dirt. You're pushing it off. You're not pushing it up. Yes, sweep off. You got it right there, guys, in the chat. Okay. Uh, eight correct answers in a row. Make sure you blank, blank that glass before you use it. Make sure you blank, blank that glass before you use it. Wash off that glass before you use it. Rinse off that glass before you use it. Clean out that glass before you use it. Dust off before you use it. Uh, clean out would actually be correct here. Make sure you clean out that glass before you use it, but that's not what we covered in the lesson. So I can tell you right now, clean out is not going to be the right answer. But there is two answers that are correct. So you have a... 50-50 chance of getting this right. Four answers. 
Wash off. Edgard says wash off. Patchu. Patchu says rinse off. They would both be correct. All right, everybody got that one right. Okay. I think we might be on the last one. I think everybody is set. I think that's going to be the top three because uh, the scores seem uh, to be very large between each because uh, there's 300 points between the number one and number two and about 600 points between two and three. So unless unless someone really messes up with an answer, I think we have our top three already. Everyone hates to blank blank the toilet. Come on, hey Nada, you got to get this one right. Everyone hates to blank blank the toilet. Everyone hates to clean down the toilet. Hates to flush down the toilet. Hates to clean up the toilet. Hates to scrub out the toilet. Clean down, flush down, clean up, scrub out. Oh, MN says clean up. Everyone hates to clean up the toilet. Natives would not say clean up the toilet. So I would say that was incorrect. Nice to see you here, MN. Scrub up. There you go. You got it, buddy. MN, I think, was uh, third place last week. Scrub out, scrub out, scrub out. Yeah, everyone's saying scrub out. Okay, so flush down. Everyone hates to flush down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I guess you would hate to be flushed down the toilet. Uh... Clean up the toilet and scrub out. So three people got it right. And the podium is number one spot, Pirate Boy. Oh, wait. Is that third? No, it's third spot. Sorry. Flipper. Yeah. So we did stick out uh, with the the three that I thought we were going to stick out. Okay. And how gets first place. Okay. That was a lot of fun, guys. So, yeah. A lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, oops. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will definitely keep track of uh, how everybody did. Uh, let me get the chat back up here. I'm gonna join the game. Uh, we're <laughs> you're a little late, eh, man. That this was cool. Hey Nada says that's great. I'm glad you had fun, Hey Nada. I thought you'd do better. Uh, what's the prize? Um, my admiration is the prize, Danny. But there is no prize for third place. Fourth place for Hinata. Yeah, never mind, MN. You, you were late. Uh, it's just 10 questions. Uh, we've been going for almost an hour on the live stream. Uh, Yusef, we enjoyed it. That's great. I've never experienced such game study. That's good. Pachu. Uh, Milan had fun. My daughter. Do I have Instagram? Yes, I do have Instagram. It's usually under uh, in the description of all my <laughs> Danny. Uh, it's, the Instagram link is usually below the description of all my videos. Uh, I haven't added it added it to any of my live streams yet, uh, but I will. So if you want to go check out one of my old videos, you can see the link to the. I'm on the top seven of seven. So, <laughs> I guess my wife was playing. Or I'm on the top. Does she mean that she's how? Maybe she is. Um, yeah, so maybe she got 10 out of 10. That's my wife, guys, if you didn't know already. So, that being said, guys, thanks so much for uh, coming over and watching my second live stream. Uh, I hope to do more of these. I love playing Kahoot. Uh, I hope you do too. Uh, see ya. Danny's saying goodbye. Danny, thanks for stopping by. You're always uh, always supporting me on uh, uh, on YouTube, and you're like the first person to always like everything I post on Instagram. So I really appreciate it, Danny. Uh, I'm not sad. I'm among among the best. Okay, hey Nada, good night. Uh, it's almost ten o'clock here. See you upstairs. My wife says, Hey Nada, Edgar, M, uh, MN, um, Patchu. Uh, Danny, Bob, if you're still here, have a good night. How? Have a good night. 
Um, yeah, I think I've said everybody that's still here. Everybody did well. Yusuf, thanks for all the support. About the scrub out the toilet. Yeah, man, good. Don't stop. My daughter says Milan. Yes, oh, yes, Milan. Nina, Milan, Mina. Good night, girls. I'll see you upstairs soon. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Really appreciate it. So I'll catch you on the next live stream. Peace.